this video is for the demo of a game called Between Horizons. It's kind of a little weird, this thing here. Um, when I first run the game, it was like it was in full screen borderless because even though it said 1080p here my monitor was actually in uh, 1440 but when I change through these arrows changing the resolution then it went into uh, full screen exclusive mode so at the moment it's full screen exclusive 1080p so it can do it but yeah it, i'm not sure what was going on at the beginning uh, we have quite a few um, volume settings here so i don't know i might need to adjust these uh, turn the music one down so yeah let's jump into it Well, I can't continue because I haven't played it, so... So we can't manual save, it's fully automated. I must have been eight or nine years old when I first realized that I would never witness the Zephyr's arrival. As a small child, I often imagined myself stepping foot on Euros D, leaving the ship for the first time in my life. I didn't understand at the time that this was a privilege reserved for my grandchildren. I still remember the conversation I had with my father. He was uncomfortable about the whole thing, and I get it. People don't like talking about their children's mortality. Still, he made me feel better. He reminded me of the importance of our mission for the survival of mankind. We're the only egg in the second basket, he said. <laughs> or something like that. The basket being Eurus D, a habitable planet just four light years away from Earth. And the egg, that's the roughly 1,300 people aboard the Zephyr. Everyone I'll ever know.
I mean, like, you can possibly use gamepad. I mean, I'm walking around with the gamepad. Um, X is basically doing the same as spacebar. So, question is, what about my interactive button? Yeah, it looks like button A. So, well, he said upstairs, so. A to continue. Yeah, so you don't have to use keyboard. You can use gamepad if you have one. Alright, so yeah, that symbol means you can change the lane. And then we can. Oh, wait. And we can walk up here. Now what?
So it's not going to be people, uh, it's not going to be a person, it's not going to be a place. Other clue, whatever that is. I give right, right there. Alright, let's see what we can find out. So there's something there. Electronic device. Network access point. What else we got in here? Another network access. Network access office. <coughs> Let's have a look here. Gonna sign it to that. Network access point. Okay. So the guy that heard the noise was probably in there. So this is where they where they would have gone. They would have gone in here. Okay, so we've got some things happening here. Medical data terminal. Food network terminal. Intranet. Recycling PDA network. So food distribution is wait. Uh, it's, I think it's locked up. Wait. Well. That was weird. <sighs> um, so where's our evidence? Here we go. So we got medical data terminal. Don't have required access. Food network. Hmm. Well, yeah, that doesn't help too much. Inspect? Access denied. Yeah, I thought they were just saying, it's denied.
Well, um, maybe I go talk to the uh, the worker who had something. Alright, so let's try uh, this electronic device that we found. Programmer Aaron's tool. Hmm, now yeah, that is suspicious, isn't it? Injecting data. Yes. Wow. 
Right, so we have... Looks like all our PDAs are being wiped. I really hope they have some sort of backup. Uh, I didn't know about that one. Okay, so that kind of gives us a bit of um, insight if we are not sure what to do. Uh, what else we got here? I don't know if we can talk to them about these things here. So basically, they want me to have a look at it. So looking at the patterns, it, they should go in a logical type of a thing. To me, that looks wrong. So that's medical. Let's try another one. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. That's the food network. Yep, yep, that looks pretty good to me, yep. So that one's alright. Recycling. Yep, that one looks good. Uh, this one here. Yep, that one looks good. So yeah, it's definitely the medical one that has the problem. So we can... Actually, no, I don't need to do that. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it could be something to do with Aaron, or it might not. Uh, I don't know if we have anything else. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else to do there, so... Yeah, well, it's definitely the, um, the medical room, so this one, let's assign the medical one. Yes. Oh, you can run if you're holding the right trigger. Yeah, I won't pick that up. Actually, um, I think, didn't he give me access or was that how the, uh, the access worked? Medical terminal. Uh, yeah, this is just like walking through a tutorial, I think.
Right. No, so it looks like we're done. So let's go tell them what we found out. What? Hey? I told him I wasn't ready to take over cases yet. He shouldn't have put me in charge. What the hell? I mean, it, that. Um Oh is it Is it freezing? What the heck? That, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that freeze. Um let's have a look at this. I'm not gonna grant me too many exercise play. Wait a minute, that's not the one that I looked at before what's happened to the one that I looked at first does it put them in a different order I, I mean I was pretty sure it was medical so it's trying to say that I've got it wrong Funny thing is, I can't actually see the one that had the problem out. Because it definitely looked like a problem before. Well, wait a minute, it must be this one. Yeah. This must be the one. PDA Network. Okay. So let's go back to our case file you know I I can't change it now oh no yeah you can't go back oh well we screwed that up Wearing a disguise.
keep staring at the notes for my speech, even though I'm not reading a word of it. We agreed to frame my father's death as an unfortunate accident, to keep the intruder a secret in the name of public peace and safety. It's our highest imperative. If there is a person between the ship's population and their safety, they will get crushed by design. There is no security override to save the individual. In a way, this concept makes sense to me. It has to. After all, I'm the chief of security now. Okay. <laughs> Don't quite understand that. Well, I don't know if it's got the, um, um, yeah, we, we screwed up that case, <laughs> but you know, I could have sworn that medical, um, the medical data terminal picture, I could have sworn that looked different um, when, when we looked at it. So, the first time, you know. So, um, I mean, I look at it now and it looks. It looks so. But yeah, I mean, I I didn't think it looked like that the first time I looked at it. I thought the um, those dark blue lines were vertical. There, it's horizontal. But that one there. That's definitely wrong, that one. This one square, the, uh, the bottom right dark square, that shouldn't be dark. Um, yeah, I don't know if, yeah, you can't, you can't change things. We just gotta move on and um... My AI shrink says that I have to allow myself to grieve. Live through the pain to overcome it. I'd rather bottle it all up indefinitely. But my thoughts keep circling to the events of that night. It's been weeks, and we still have no idea who we were chasing down there, or what they were trying to accomplish. I keep thinking that things would have played out differently if only I'd acted faster. I work a lot to keep my mind in check. Everybody's out celebrating arrival day today, but I'm glad that the captain called me over. Yeah, well, I don't even know which way I'm going. So we've got to get um, a look at the map, and 
the... Right, that must be it up there. So, it looks like we better go up a floor. A message on paper. So there's symbol and then the word freedom. So what's the symbol? Just a two line? Three six.
All right. All right, well, let's see if we can get this one right. Well, it's interesting how the game kind of plays out. Uh, it definitely kind of makes you... It puts you in that kind of mind frame, you know, where you're trying to figure this out. Yeah, that person's just uh, a normal NPC walking around. So perhaps we can use that instead of the stairs, but I need to know where it's go. The brig. Yeah, uh, might go to the brig. Um, Should I go to the security room? Yeah, the note is addressed to... Well... We can assign the note to... That one and that one. Um, source of paper, right? We gotta look into that, and we got brig, we got security office. Alright, well let's go to the um let's go to the security office I guess. Down one floor. Davis. 
Uh, uh, yeah, alright. To the brig. Alright, so I gotta go to the brig then. Yep. Alright, let's, um, let's go to the brig then. Yeah. Uh, suppose I'll take the elevator. Stairs wouldn't have been too difficult. I mean, I think they were just to the left, probably a little bit. Yep. Alright, let's see what we can find out from these people. Rose and Louie, yes. What, what's going on? Call me cheap now. <laughs> Stay on top of it. He was on his way to a date. <laughs> what the yeah. What? <laughs> Uh, well, I think we got a collaborator's story. <laughs> this is a big misunderstanding, isn't it? No need. There's no need. What were you doing in the inner hull? You were caught with a suspicious nose. Hmm. Yeah, what were you doing in the inner hull? Cleaning the hallways. Hmm. You were caught with a suspicious note. Hmm. Okay, well, 
It's not very clear, is it? Um, Alright, let's go and find out where... Where can we talk to that other person? This one here... Look at this, we've got two different... <laughs> So we've got to find that person somehow. Um, where's this door going? Wow, that must be like maximum security in there. I'll be back. this quote from Earth once. It went something like, there are decades when nothing happens and there are weeks when decades happen. Never heard of that for one. better or for worse, I was prepared for decades of nothing. But a lifetime of training could not have prepared me for the weeks to come. I never imagined it could all unravel so fast. Oh, what? Is that it? I think we reached the point where the ship starts to... Yeah. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Um, we didn't actually get to do a hell of a lot. I mean, it's kind of a bit weird that they um, just kind of scratch the surface of how things work uh, without actually letting you see it, it working properly, you know? I mean, it, the question, it begs the question that, you know, have they actually got it working in the way that they are trying to say that they've got things working because um, yeah the demo just doesn't show you basically what what the demo does is just the like the first steps of the process of, of making a branching kind of a thing so yeah there's just nothing in there to um, To kind of um, prove I must have uh, one been way eight or, or nine years old when I first realized that I would never Can I skip back? or witness the Zephyr's arrival. As a small child, I often imagined myself mm. stepping. It's, I think we may have to go back to the menu. Estate, leaving... um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off tutorial. I'm gonna see what happens if I um, get that first case correct. See if it does something different. I must have been eight or nine years old when I first realized that I would never witness the Zephyr's arrival. As a small child, I often imagined myself stepping foot on Euros D, leaving the ship for the first time in my life. I didn't understand at the time that this was a privilege reserved for my grandchildren. I still remember the conversation I had with my father. He was uncomfortable about the whole thing. And I get it. People don't like talking about their children's mortality. Still, he made me feel better. He reminded me of the importance of our mission for the survival of mankind. We're the only egg in the second basket, he said. Or something like that. The basket being Eurus D, a habitable planet just four light years away from Earth. And the egg, that's the roughly 1,300 people aboard the Zephyr. Everyone I'll ever know.
I said just change this picture on the wall make it look like you know maybe you're looking out a window or something but Right, let's get up to see. I don't know why they call it bone. I mean, they just call it green, don't they? Game's kind of blocked up. What the heck? Maybe it's saved. Let's have a look. Aren't I already upstairs? Yeah, the game's a bit glitchy when kind of like loading save games. But the thing is, is that, I mean, we played through it the first time and it was fine. I mean, maybe it's because I'm skipping through the story? I'll try not to um, skip through it this time. Let's, let's go to... come on. Fingers crossed it works. <sighs> yeah, that doesn't look right. Am 
Wow, that's a shame. Hmm. Well, yep, I just gotta have to leave it at this end. So yeah, that's been the uh, demo of a game called Between Horizons. If you'd like to try it out yourself, you can find the demo on the Steam Store page. The, um, the way the detective story plays out, it, it's actually... Um, I found it quite quite good, the, um, the detective part of it, you know? It just it just seemed to work quite well. You, you get the evidence, and then you got to kind of connect the evidence to the case, and and try and work it to um, to get the answer that you need. But the thing is, I mean, yeah, you only got to solve one case, which was the first one, and unfortunately, I picked the wrong bit of evidence but yeah I could have sworn that the evidence looked different the first time I looked at it so I don't know what happened there I'm gonna have to have a look at the stream and uh, <laughs> see if it looked different or maybe I just or, or maybe I got it wrong but anyway um, the second case we we didn't actually get too far into that we, I mean, all I did was ask questions to uh, two people and uh, there was nothing concrete come out of that. So, um, yeah, it's very hard to make a judgment call on um, whether this game, you know, like whether they've got the detective part functioning as well as what they're trying to make out. And yeah, also that guy, you know, like I mean, it could have, you know, the, the, he, he might not have been talking in a literal sense, you know. It might turn out that it was um, something to do with work. That he, you know, he was just kind of um, joking, you know. This, yeah. I mean, yeah, this. We don't know if we can take it literal until we've actually hit, uh, spoken to the other guy and can't do that in the demo, so... Um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'm just going to have to leave it at that. It's undec I'm undecisive. I, I, can't, I can't really make any further opinion or comment because it, we just didn't get to play enough, um, see enough or do enough to uh, make a concrete decision. So, um, if you do try it yourself, yeah, try and pick the right evidence on that first case and see if it plays out different for you. Uh, I would have, I would have tried that myself, but unfortunately, the game is um, locking up. So, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.